Hi. So this will be an overview of a, a typical normal pregnancy. What would we expect a typical normal pregnancy to go like? So the duration of a normal pregnancy is 40 weeks. We like weeks, we don't like months. Uh, we like to talk in a uh, number of weeks of pregnancy. So you would normally say nine months of pregnancy, we call it 40 weeks of pregnancy. If you were to refer to my capsule on uh, what is normal, okay, link should be up there, you will realize um, that uh, 40 weeks is too absolute and so we have a range and the range is between 37 weeks and 42 weeks with 40 weeks being the median. Now all these dates are calculated from the first day of your last menstrual period, the LMP. Now this date is very important and it's important that you tabulate your menstrual cycle and uh, details on that you'll find in my capsule on the menstrual diary, a link should be somewhere up here. So 40 weeks after the LMP or the last menstrual period is a date known as the EDD or the expected date of delivery. Now this EDD is a very poorly named EDD because it's not the day on which you expect to deliver you. In fact, only 4% of all pregnant patients deliver on your EDD. We would look at more as uh, the date around which most people should deliver. So the delivery term or what we call a term pregnancy is not one day. A term is between 37 weeks and 42 weeks. But we typically deliver our patients around 40 weeks. The nine months of pregnancy are divided into three, three months, three months and three months. And the first three months is known as the first trimester. So the first trimester is the time when your microscopic egg becomes something which looks more or less like a normal human being but the difference is that the size is really really tiny. So in the first three months we have development of a baby from a microscopic round egg into something which looks like a human but the size itself is a very small increase. By the end of uh, three months your baby would be probably hardly six centimeters in length with a weight approximately 14 grams. So this is the hallmark of our first trimester, development and a little bit of growth. This is the magic time. This is the time when, uh, you know, something which is round, ball becomes something which looks like us. But it's also the time when a little bit of a mistake, a little wrong cell going to the wrong place or the right cell going to the wrong place makes um, a defective pregnancy. To facilitate um, the fact that we don't want you to ingest any toxins, nature has given us a little bit of vomiting in the uh, first three months of pregnancy. And this solves two problems. One, you will not eat stuff which you shouldn't be eating because you don't feel like eating anything. And also because our baby doesn't really need any food from you. Uh, you don't eat. So all we would like you to do is just drink lots of fluids. Even if you lose a little bit of weight, it doesn't really matter. Keep your fluid intake good and you'll be alright. And your baby will be safe. So with respect to medicines, we would be typically putting on folic acid. We would hope that you had been on folic acid about three months before you conceived. And we'll continue this folic acid for the first three months. There are a lot of other medicines which doctors sometimes put you on when they would be indicated by that particular doctor for some particular conditions. The second trimester is uh, a lot of growth, a little less amount of development. So the baby from 6 centimeters now grows to nearly 37 centimeters. And from around 13 grams now becomes nearly 1 kilogram by the end of your second trimester. So that's quite a good jump. So this is usually a nice time of your pregnancy. You don't have the nausea and vomiting of your first three months. And uh, neither would you be having the 
apprehension of delivery and labor of which usually happens in the last three months. During this three months, we'll be putting on some basic uh, mineral supplements and you'll be having some ultrasounds to make sure that baby's doing well. The last trimester, the last three months of your pregnancy is the business end of the pregnancy. So the last trimester is when a baby puts on all of its weight, its birth weight. So a normal birth weight is somewhere between 2.5 to 4 kgs. And so from a 1 kg baby at the end of uh, the second trimester, you'll be getting a baby nearly, what, 3,000 grams or uh, 3 kilograms. This is the time when uh, the physical attributes of the baby will be kicking in. Because the baby is growing, it starts pushing all the organs away, the stomach, the intestine, the kidneys, the liver, the spleen, all of these organs are there in your abdomen. They all get squashed and pushed to a side. So you'll obviously have some of those physical attributes of a rapidly growing large baby in your tummy. Constipation and frequent bladder runs are also very typical. Because the pregnancy is pushing up on your stomach, you're also probably having some heartburn of pregnancy, which is basically a reflux of some food up. So this would be a time for you to settle down um, and decide your place of delivery and settle down to that particular place. We would normally not want you to travel during your third trimester. This would be a time for you to finalize your birth plan with your doctor as well. Then of course comes delivery which will be another couple of capsules. So essentially, we want you to enjoy your pregnancy. It's the best time of your life. And leave all the worrying to us. So if you don't worry, let us do the worrying, then that's a happy pregnancy. All right. So for your checkup, the pre-pregnancy checkup, I'll leave a link somewhere up here. So you can uh, have a look at the preconceptional care, what we call a PCC, uh, a link to that capsule. And um, my next capsule will be on what you need to do during your nine months of uncomplicated pregnancy. All right. So I'll be seeing you soon in the next capsule. Bye.